Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is uh, Lesson 18. Uh, today we're going to look at the difference between uh, fragrance uh, versus scent versus aroma. Yeah, they all mean a positive smell, they all mean a good smell, but let's try to see some differences between all three. Alright, if we look at a uh, fragrance by itself first, means uh, it means a pleasant smell. So fragrance is always good, it's always positive. Uh, it never means a bad smell. Um, we have other words for bad smells. Odor is O-D-O-R. Odor is probably the main one we use for bad smell. But fragrance is always a good smell. So uh, we tend to use fragrance with smells connected to like flowers, perfume, incense, and oils. Uh, yeah, those are the most common. Uh, the word fragrance is uh, more fancy. It is. It has a more fancy uh, feel to it. It feels more special than like the word scent, for example, uh, than scent, uh, and is especially used more in advertisements. And uh, that could be a reason why they do use it more in advertisements, because it sounds more fancy, it sounds more special than just the word scent by itself. Okay, uh, let me give you some uh, typical examples. Uh, that perfume has a nice fragrance. Okay, good, a nice positive sentence. Uh, I like the fragrance of this body oil. Alright, again, uh, typically, like I said, used in advertisements, positive smell. Alright, scent. Let's take a look at scent. Uh, scent, uh, a particular smell, so it's not automatically positive, but most of the time we do use it that way. So that's why we say especially a nice one. Uh, Alright, this is another way that we use scent. Uh, scent is often used to express a natural smell such as from a person or animal. Okay, uh, and I'll give an example of that later, like somebody's natural smell, natural scent. Okay, the word scent by itself tends to be more neutral, that's just what I mentioned before, uh, but it's often made positive with positive adjectives. So a lot of times when we say scent, we'll say, you know, a, a nice scent, a beautiful scent, and, and we turn it into a very positive, uh, positive smell. Okay, so let's give the first one. This first one is really connected to the one I said here that is kind of a natural smell of a person or animal. Um, that animal was able to pick up this, pick up the uh, fugitive's scent. Yeah, so they sometimes have some, you know, dogs that follow uh, scents, you know, um, dogs that try to, you know, catch somebody that's escaping. So, uh, again, that animal was able to pick up the fugitive scent. Uh, it doesn't particularly mean the smell is good or bad, uh, but it's, it's kind of the, uh, the, the natural smell that comes from somebody, so uh, they may often have these dogs uh, follow it. Okay, uh, that soap has a lovely scent. All right, here's, a, here's an example where we add a very positive word to scent to make it sound like uh, that it's very, very nice, a very nice smell. Okay, good. Uh, we also tend uh, to use um, the adjective scented when a nice smell has been added uh, to something, such as scented candles, scented soap, uh, scented dish detergent. So you hear scented a lot. Uh, if if some if some nice smell has been added to something to make it to make it a more pleasant smell. Okay, good. Um, all right, and um, finally, let's let's look at aroma. Uh, aroma is definitely a nice smell. It can't really be negative. Uh, that is strong but pleasant. So yeah, very strong smell. Uh, especially used to describe good smells of food. Yeah, like when you walk into a house or a restaurant, mmm, uh, makes you go, makes you go like that. So, uh, let me give you the example. Uh, I like the aroma of that coffee. Yeah, if, you, if you're a person that has come to like coffee, you smell the coffee beans. Ah, you know, some people maybe that like to go to Starbucks uh, might, might like that. So, uh, we say uh, aroma of coffee. We, we hear aroma used with coffee a lot. Uh, the aroma from those baked uh, cookies uh, fills the room. Yeah, so we often say that again. Uh, the smell from some cooking, you know, maybe a sauce that you might make, or, or bread, you know, uh, that, that, that kind of moves about, you know, that, uh, that wanders from room to room. 
Uh, this is what we mean by aroma. Aroma. So aroma is always again a very positive. So um, yeah. So that that pretty much covers it. So again, fragrance is again a little more formal and uh, a little more fancy than the word scent. Scent sometimes can be kind of neutral, kind of in between, just saying a smell. But we do often use positive adjectives with it to make it a very good smell. That's why you do get a little crossover sometimes. You know, I mean, it's, it's not impossible for somebody to say they like the fragrance of, you know, that, uh, of the flower, you know, and they like the scent of the flower. Sometimes you do get a little crossover. But uh, again, I'm just trying to clearly show you where they are different. Uh, and again, like I said, scent was neutral, but we often have positive, uh, not, uh, positive adjectives with it. And aroma, especially with food. Yes, definitely. Okay, well, I hope that clears it up for you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.